Hi, I'm Dick Reimer from JNM Machine. I'm going to demonstrate our new test gauge for the uh, showing the bulging of the holder with the retention knob tightened. And I'm also going to demonstrate a new retention knob that we manufacture. On the right is a standard retention knob, as if uh, you buy from any manufacturer. On the left is our brand new high torque retention knob. And now I'm going to install a standard holder that you would normally buy anytime, anywhere into our test cage. Right now I am in setting zero on our dial indicators and what I'm doing is reading a height off the flange down to the bottom right here. These two dials here are reading into the, to the taper. They're dead smack lock solid. There's no movement whatsoever. So I'm going to now remove this and install a standard retention knob. I'm going to put this in here at 60 foot-pounds. Okay, I'm now going to install my gauge back on the holder. And if you noticed, the gauges now that used to be on zero, now have moved quite a bit. And what's happening now, the bulge that the retention knob creates on the holder, that keeps it from going in your spindle. As you see, all the gauges are reading pretty much the same, but the ones that are really interesting are the two little dials pointing in to the taper. This bottom one right here is going to be as if this is in your machine with your machine moving this back and forth as it's spinning and cutting. Now what I'm going to do now is remove this standard retention uh, from our holder. Once this is removed, I'm going to install this back into my test gauge. Right now we're going to show you that everything goes back to zero. And also, if you noticed, the two small ones no longer move. Now what I'm going to do now is remove this from my test gauge. And I'm going to install our new high torque retention knob. And I'm going to install it at the same 60 foot pounds. Okay, we'll take it out of our fixture. Put our test gauge back on. And we have a little bit of movement, but very, very little. All the gauges. But again, the interesting gauges will be the two here. Right now I'm going to move, try to move these. There's virtually zero movement.